Hi everyone, thanks for visiting AppChasers.com. In this series of videos, we're showing you how to use the JW Library app on the iPhone and the iPad. You can see we've got it up here in the iTunes, but let's go ahead and open the app. And in this video, we're going to show you specifically how to use some of the language features within the JW Library app. Of course, when you open the app for the first time, you'll see this nice layout of the Bible. But in the upper right hand corner, you can see we've got our language button here. We'll tap on that and we've got our different languages that the Bible is going to be available in. So, of course, a number of English ones here at the top. But as we scroll down, we now have languages that we can choose from. For this video, we're going to show you uh, this for the Spanish language. However, as more languages are added, you can use these same principles for any of the languages that you choose to view and use the JW Library app with. So let's go ahead and download our Spanish uh, translation here. Right now we've got all these languages that are available with a cloud icon over to the right. That'll just show you how uh, large or how much memory this language is particularly going to take up. So the Spanish here says 18 megabytes. We'll just tap on that and it's going to download this language to our device. All right, just about done. Okay, there we go. We've got Spanish now. So if we uh, tap out of that language button and go back in here, now we can see that Spanish is available right here at the bottom uh, of our main recommended uh, languages. So let's tap on that and now you can see it instantly switches over the entire user interface uh, of the Bible here to Spanish. So as we uh, click on a scripture here we can go into a verse and uh, we'll be able to read the Bible directly in the language that we're currently viewing. Spanish in this case. Now if we do find a verse that we'd uh, like to look at here we can tap on let's say chapter 4 verse 3. Now notice to the right it still shows us in our right hand column the English versions of that verse. So it's a great way to be able to compare languages using the JW Library app. So if you're in a foreign language group or congregation, you'll be able to quickly reference the language you're learning with the English language or another language that you already know. So let's back out of that. And again, that's showing the Bible here in uh, the Spanish language. And of course, our appendixes work as well as we're tapping through these different tabs at the top left of the screen. Now let's go into Publications tab, and here we go, we've got everything back in English. Well, if we just tap on the Languages button in the upper right hand corner, we'll tap on Spanish, and uh, now it's showing us the publications that are available for download in the Spanish language. And this would again go for any language that you've chosen here. So we can go back through here. We can see that uh, not everything that's available in English is available in Spanish yet. But as time goes on, uh, more languages and more publications will be added. We can also go to our daily text, which is shown here in English by default. But we can just tap on that language button again, tap on Spanish, and uh, tap that. And now we've downloaded the daily text, or examining the scriptures daily, in the Spanish language. Let's go back to our Bible view here. And uh, we'll go back to the main view of the Bible. Again, we're still in the Spanish language. Let's uh, go back to English. There we go. So we're in the English New World Translation. Let's look, look up a uh, scripture here, for example, Matthew chapter 24. And we'll scroll down to verse 14. Let's scroll back up here a little bit. We'll tap on verse 14 now. And notice that We've got in the right-hand column, again, our different uh, language Bibles. Uh, we've got our reference Bible. Now, these are all in English here. But as we scroll down, again, there's that Spanish version. Now, if we tap on the Customize here at the bottom, it's going to bring up this new dialog. And if we tap on the right-hand side of any one of these languages, we can rearrange how the languages are displayed in that right hand column. So you can see I've just moved Spanish up here. We'll hit done 
And now you see that we have Spanish right at the top of our list. So it's pretty cool. If you're learning multiple languages, you can arrange them all in this right-hand column uh, so that as you're reading your English Bible, you can quickly tap on a verse and see those different languages um, available on the right-hand side. And we've gone back here to our main Bible view. Let's go back into our Languages tab at the upper right. If you ever want to delete one of the languages that you've uh, downloaded, simply bring up this dialog here. And uh, on the language that you want to delete, all you have to do is swipe to the left and tap Delete. And now it's back in the cloud and not being stored on your device. So that's how to use the new languages feature of the JW Library app. We can't wait to see more languages added. I'm particularly interested in the Chinese language being added, which wasn't in this first initial uh, release here of languages. But as more languages become available, you can use the same principles shown in this video to navigate around the JW Library app with multiple languages. This has been AppChasers.com.